But let's talk about these weapons. We're going to look at it. So first off, the word weapons there, the weapons of our warfare, is number 3696. It's the Greek word hoplon. It means literally to be busy about. That's one aspect of it. It is an implement or utensil or tool, especially offensively used for war. It's translated armor, instrument, and weapon. So our weapons, our implements or utensils or tools, especially offensively used for war. This is what our weapons are. Do you get that? Notice it's not generally defensive weapons. Defensive weapons don't pull down strongholds. Our weapons pull down strongholds. So our weapons are offensive, which means we use them against the enemy. That they're, they're not passive, right? Amen. And we're going to get into this a little bit today because, well, you'll see why. <laughs> so uh, the next part, the weapons of our warfare. Now the word for warfare, number 4752, Strong's Concordance. It's the Greek word stratia. Uh, that's where we get the word strategy from, strategium, uh, different aspects of it. It means literally military service. So the weapons of our warfare, the weapons of our military service. This is what Paul was saying. Okay. It, now, in Paul's language, he was mentioning things twofold. He was talking to believers saying that we are in a warfare. When he talked about his warfare, it was an apostolic career of hardship. And that's what he was referring to. Now, but now notice this. It is translated as warfare, uh, military service. So the weapons, the, the offensive tools we have that we use in our military service for God, okay, are not carnal not out of the mind, not out of the flesh side, not out of being fleshly oriented, but they are mighty through God. The word mighty is a, it's a strong word, actually. <laughs> mighty strong word. Uh, it's, it's kind of funny how it is. But it means a type of power that once initiated cannot be stopped. So our weapons, our offensive weapons used offensively to pull down strongholds, which are mindsets and ways of thinking, let's put it that way, that are, especially the bad ones, they are, it is mighty through God in the sense that once it is initiated offensively, it cannot be resisted. Amen. Do you get this? Now, we're going to keep looking. And they are mighty through God for what? To the pulling down of strongholds. Now, the pulling down here, it's uh, number 2506, Strong's Concordance. I'll give you these numbers so you can look them up. And it is the Greek word katharesis. And it literally means this. For the pulling down or for the demolition, the extinction, and the destruction of strongholds. So our weapons, once initiated, cannot be resisted. And they will demolish and bring to extinction the strongholds in our minds. Do you get that? What does that mean? That means very simply this. You got no excuse. That's what it means. What it means is once you do what the Bible says, the enemy cannot resist. He cannot. Now, where he tries to, what he tries to do is he tries to put a stronghold in your mind. 